Hey guys, Vox Education here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 beginner tutorial series and in today's episode we're going to be going over an introduction to volumes inside of Unreal Engine. So basically what volumes are, they are essentially three dimensional areas within your level and they're all going to serve a whole bunch of different purposes. Now there is a whole bunch of different types of volumes, um, I'm going to be showing you some of these in today's episode. Uh, you can see in my level here, I've already made a whole bunch of them so you can see exactly what they can do. Um, so yeah, these volumes are going to be invisible to the player. Uh, but they are there, they are three dimensional areas and they all serve a purpose. That's the most important thing that you need to know. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just quickly go over some of these different volumes that we have here. So the first one I have is a post processing volume, trigger volume, uh, blocking volume, kill Z volume and a camera blocking volume. And I'm just going to be basically showing you how to use some of these, you know, just bringing them in into the engine today. So if I go ahead and press play in my level real quick, I'm going to show you exactly what these volumes are do, uh, what these volumes do, what they're capable of. So the first one, post processing volume, if I go ahead and jump into that, you can see that uh, the pretty much the screen all changes, the color, uh, you can play around with loads of stuff. I'm going to be covering post-processing in another video, but that is pretty much what the post-processing volume does. When you get in there, it allows you to play around with things like color grading, uh, for, you know, just depth of field, all the good stuff. So the next one is a trigger volume. This is brilliant if you're trying to make gameplay events, you can use it to fire off an event. So when I go ahead and jump onto this, you can see that my character gets bigger. I've done all of that in blueprints. So the next one is a blocking volume, which essentially allows me to, which essentially allows me to just uh, stop the player getting inside of that area. It's basically like artificial collision, really. Uh, so if I go ahead and run up to it, I can stand on this blocking volume as defined by these little boxes here, and uh, that's really important. Uh, these volumes, once again, they are in, they are three dimensional. Uh, and they're going to be contained within these little boxes. So for the trigger trigger boxes, for example, it's only going to trigger the event whenever I go inside of that box. Uh, the next one is the kill Z volume. If I walk inside of that, it's just going to kill me. Uh, there's really not that much to it. And the last one, uh, the camera blocking volume, uh, that's basically just going to stop the camera working. So if I try and tilt the camera into it, it's pretty much not going to let me. It's going to have... Uh, I'm not going to bother trying to explain it, but yeah. Anyway, so let's just go ahead and uh, start our, uh, start creating our very first volumes. So it, to get a volume, just go over to the place uh, place mode, and then just go over to volumes up here. You got a whole bunch of these you can play around with. Uh, but first things first, let's go ahead and start off by creating a blocking volume. Just chuck that anywhere in your level. I'm just going to drag it in here, and by default, you're just going to get a very basic box. And if you wanted to, you can scale this however you want to you can make it longer wider taller whatever but with the blocking volume now we've got this what we can do is uh, we can just go ahead and press play but when we try walk into that volume you can see we've got this artificial uh, collision that I showed you earlier on so that's pretty much what it does and once again that is all contained within that area so the next one is the camera blocking volume. That's basically just going to stop you, uh, the camera working inside of that area. So maybe if you don't want the camera pretty much bugging into the walls going through there, you might want to use this. So let me just show you if I can get the positioning right. There we go. You can see it pretty much forces the camera out of that area. It just pushes it to uh, the next best location. Um, you're probably not going to be using that all that much. Uh, you've got kill Z volume. Chuck that in yeah, in there. If you press play and run into that, it's going to kill you. Obviously, uh, you're going to have different kill events for however your game is set up. But for the third person template I'm using now, it just makes you disappear and stops the player controller moving. Uh, the next one, uh, let's go ahead and have a look what we've got. We've got the post processing volume. Uh, this is actually quite cool. Probably my favorite one and you are definitely going to use it quite a lot. Um, as you can see here in my scene, I've just got the default lighting and all of that stuff, all that good stuff. But when I actually go inside of this volume, my post-processing volume, you can see it goes all red. We've got some fringe intensity going on. 
and a few other stuff. Now, let me just go ahead and show you some basic post processing here. So if I wanted to, if I go over to the post, press, uh, post process volume settings in the details panel over here, if I go to scene color, select that, and then if I just quickly check my camera inside of here, and if I wanted to, I could make this a blue, a green, uh, or whatever. And this just really allows us to set the mood, you know, just pretty much change things up. So I'm gonna set it to green, and let's increase the fringe intensity so we have that sort of red and blue effect. Uh, if I wanted to, I could even go as far as to add a vignette. I could go as far as to change the white balance if I wanted to. Uh, like I could change the temperature. I could change the tint. Do loads and loads of crazy stuff. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty much going to be going over one uh, video for post-processing because there's a whole bunch to it. Uh, it's really powerful and really allows you to, uh, you know, do a hot, just really change your scene, change everything really. So if I just go onto Google real quick and type in color grading, I can give you pretty much a really good example of what you can do. So if you take a quick look at this, for example, you can see it looks all dull, but with the help of color grading, you can really bring out all of the colors. You can add saturation, do whatever you want. Or if I look at this example, you can see it goes from orange to blue to the sunset, and that's all just gonna be done with post-processing, just changing the lighting, just changing the colors, and all of that good stuff. Anyway, that is pretty much all I wanted to show you with volumes for today's episode. So once again, they're just three-dimensional uh, areas, and they all have a purpose. Play around with a whole bunch of uh, the volumes that we have here, see what you can do. Um, also, there is a really, really good piece of uh, documentation on this, which I'm going to be leaving in the description. And this is just going to cover these volumes in a little bit more detail, some of the settings, and uh, it has proper descriptions of exactly what you can do with them. So thanks for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.